Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Rogue Like It, the show we play every rogue like in history. We're here to start a brand new series. Uh, this this month's game is Descenders. I'm your host, Boston. I'm playing this on the Xbox Series X. Uh, I'm joined, as always, by Moonpeer. Howdy on Ditto. And uh, Monkey Senior. Hey, also Ditto. <laughs> hey, nice. All right. Um, All three on the it's same a, if you're uh, not playing along with us and you have a Xbox One or a Series something console, it's on Game Pass and probably will be forever. Um, so go, yeah. go snag it. It uh, it it's you know if if not a part of Game Pass, it's like a dollar to sign up. So go do it. Uh -huh. um, happy to yeah. report after, like, after last week. If you haven't signed up yet, you really should. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. After E3 2021, uh, you should probably. Probably go get signed up for that. Um, I'm happy to report that I have fixed the uh, bug that would yes. pre prevent me from actually playing the game uh, on my Series can, X. Can we get the negative out the way first with your angry tweets about Xbox's UI, please? Because yeah. I need this is about. So for anyone that for anyone that might have the same problem, if you played this in early access or really early on Game Pass. Um, if you hit the the pause button and it doesn't do anything except it just kind of slowly pans around your character, that means your save is corrupted. And you need to delete it. Um, I am frustrated by the Xbox UI's way of deleting your cloud save. Um, you have to select not delete all. That doesn't delete everything. Mm -hmm. You have to pick the save file, delete mm -hmm. that, and then say delete from both places. If you pick delete all, it doesn't give you the option to delete from both places, which is stupid. I would, genuinely speaking, agree with you. I would 1,000% yep. agree with you. You, me, and Monkey, we are people who read. We are people who work with computers on a daily basis. If you put that delete all button in and you delete cloud and the local saves, Every single support call for six years is going to be, I deleted I, my saves and I don't know Honestly, how. I just want to have them ask the question when I press delete when I delete all, like they ask the question when I delete the save file individually. That's all I want. I actually understand why. It's because if you have multiple accounts, uh, if you have multiple accounts saves on your console, it'll show up there as well. Oh. So if you delete all, it'll okay. delete all saves from all accounts on My your anger has dissipated. Oh, no. <laughs> Lowest common denominator. Go yeah. watch the X, the Jabom XCOM play, and watch when Dan Reichert dismisses crew members permanently by not reading the text saying this is going to kick them out of your team entirely, not just the squad entirely. Yeah, and he just hits yes without reading the box that pops up and says as much. That's and not su twice. That's not surprising. This is the Dan <laughs> Reichert problem that yeah. all companies have to work around yeah uh, it i i was frustrated but i appreciate monkey letting us know that it shows multiple accounts save files under there that makes me feel better so i have deleted my save file from both my local storage and from the cloud and now the game functions and now i can play descenders yeah, which is great um because descenders pretty all right mm -hmm. still pretty good <laughs> so come this, on, come on. I, I, we all know my opinion on this game. Let's talk about some other people's opinions. Somebody I, go first. I, I like that the the logo here in the game says it's extreme procedural free riding, which is pretty apt for this game, because um, it it has in one of the world's worst fonts. It is you know growing your your uh, course uh, from track to track. Um, it has. Uh, a great implementation of what I feel is probably most people would re recognize as like the FTL system where you're, you're, you're on a node right now and you have about three or four of them to pick with uh, different modifiers. And um, the controls are, are really good in the way that the first time you take a turn, it will be off into the trees and you will probably hit a large tree and perish. <laughs> Um, yep. because it gives you that level of control that will allow you to do that for better or for worse. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I, I didn't get a ton of time to play it this week because um, I'm burnt out of video games 100%. Uh, so I played very little of them this week, including Deciders. Like, were you by any chance? What's that? Was that by any chance a, a causal effect from E3? It usually is, where it's like, I've had enough video games. I, I mean, I'm going to take a week or two off. I I, I just had, had and saw the most video games, so take a little breather here. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Monkey, yeah, what do you I, think about your time with uh, Descenders? It, I, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. I, like, I, I was I'm, trying I'm to... Just, I, before I was... I don't, I don't care. Like you, you would listen to our shows. Obviously, you yeah. remember our community. Did you think I was being crazy when I talked about it on my game of the year that year? Yeah, just just a little bit, you know. <laughs> like just, I I kept thinking before I started playing it, like how how would it would it be a roguelike? And it's like started playing. I was like, okay, you have the procedural world thing, and then. You unlock your first uh, crew member, and you're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, like, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. And yeah, that's it's that's it's such a cool way to implement a roguelike elements into a, a biking. It has uh, no no business. Game. Yeah, no business being a roguelike. Yeah, like uh, it has all these cool ideas mushed together, and it it actually works really well. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, in playing this week, I unlocked. I managed to unlock the forest shortcut. So I oh, okay. uh, the, the first area three times at least. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And, yeah, uh, there's a different challenge each time you do it. Like the first time is to just clear the jump. Second time is like clear the jump and do a flip, I think. And then the third time is like do the fire jump as well, just to be safe. It's right. Like, yeah. My my first one was do the the ring of fire and like I just kept hitting the ring and just like yep come on. <laughs> but, man yeah um other than that like I I can't get more than like two stages into the forest area I just keep going off the track <laughs> it's just like yeah oh it's I I I just I gotta get better at the game you know like yep, <laughs> yep. keep practicing yeah I'll get uh, there, though. okay okay getting ready okay here. are we all uh, are we done can i get can i do some yeah, pro, i will i will turn the oh, no. turn the floor over to mr moon uh okay so uh it's been a long time since i played this game mm -hmm. um and for the record i have three achievements left in this game oh nice uh, which are the golden run which is to complete a full session without bales oh wow so that's gonna be tough that's hard. Uh, pull my finger, which is to unlock the whoopee cushion and use it two other times. I hate the fact that this is an achievement, but it is. Yep. And the whoopee cushion is an extremely rare item, which you got like a twenty-five percent chance of getting if you do a run with fifty thousand rep. Oh, um, okay. Hmm. But when I say a twenty-five percent chance, I mean a twenty-five percent chance of an extremely rare item. That not specifically the whoopee cushion, and there's a lot of extremely rare items. So, oh, I but, see. I well, gotcha. Uh, and the other one I've got is go the extra mile, which is to complete all bonus worlds. So, have you bumped into a bonus world yet? I don't think so. So, when you're exploring the nodes, there's a star on the nodes. Mm -hmm. That star is a bonus world with a extremely difficult challenge. Ah, uh, I, I think I had one of those. Do. Yeah, I think uh, I saw was one. Was it the construction site by any chance? Yeah, the challenge was top. Get to the That's top. The bonus world for, for the first one. Oh, jeez! Literally did that for the first time yesterday. Oh wow! Nice. Right. nice. So I, the good I, news is you don't have you don't have to do all four at once. You can do them in separate runs. You've just got to do all four, five, mm. I should say. Like I, I tried one uh one life to like even attempt to get up i'm like you know what screw it i'm just going to the end <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. it's literally it's trials it's 3d trials is 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 that level where wow, you literally yeah. have to bounce up some pipes across some planks do a jump from plank to plank from narrow beam Jeez. to narrow beam break do a 10 and all this kind of stuff really difficult um so pro tips I, i'm guessing by all, by now we've all learned about the right stick equals the slide kind of thing yep. when you go around corners 
Um, if you're going too fast, you can do the right left wiggle on that to slow yourself down, like just slide uh, quick okay. passes, and that'll kill some speed real quick. Uh, pumping, counter pumping, and pumping um, are very useful. So if you keep hold of down on your paint stick while you're just on the regular ground, you'll tuck yourself in, and your steering will become a little bit finer, and that'll allow you to aim at jumps a little bit easier. Mm. Um, that also gives you the lift off point for the jump, which is the bunny hop, which is you go from down to up. The timing on the bunny hop is different depending on the and the type of ramp that you are on. Oh, okay. So depending on the type of ramp you're on, you'll need to get that bunny hop timing differently to get the right amount of air for each type of ramp. Or it's not like SSX jump. where it's just like down up, then you can do your tricks. No. Okay. You need to you don't need to don't get me wrong, you will not need to be a pro at the tire at the bunny hop timing unless you get to like stage four, I think it is, and that has got a very bad boss jump where you have to get your bunny hop timing correct. Mm. Obviously, we've all learned by now to do things at your own pace. If you're yes. listening and you're playing along with us, just do it at your own pace. There is no rush. There genuinely yeah. isn't. Take your time. Yep. Get as many extra lives as you can by completing those stupid bonus objectives because you're going to need them down the line. <laughs> yeah, and especially in the first area, a lot of the bonus objectives aren't anything impossible. Mm -hmm. Honestly, most of them stay the same. It's just yeah. like, oh, do two front flips, two back flips, two 360s, do a double back flip. And then you're like, how am I going to do a double back flip? And then before you realize that you're going 90 mile an hour into a jump and you do, <laughs> you can do a triple back flip. Right. Like, okay. I, I um, am a little scarred on track challenges after playing Dirt 5, uh, where their track challenges are nearly impossible. Like, do three, trade paint three times in the air in this race. It's like, what? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you should do, try and get them as much as you can. And the thing that kind of makes this a 100% a roguelike is pay attention when it says the light is fading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Because that's the games I saw someone give this game a one star review and it's like, I can't ride in the dark. It's like, that's the point. Right. You're not supposed to be on the map for that long. Like, you're not supposed to be able to do every single node right. on the map. Right. The sun is uh, going down. <laughs> yes. And once it goes down, you will have one one race with a full light. Okay. The second race in full dark, your light will be flickering. Mm -hmm. And the third race in full dark, you can't see anything. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's kind of the game's way of pushing you forwards to try and it's get the, you to move on to... It's the FTL rebels are catching up to you mechanic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's... Tough, but fair, I would say. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, also make t take advantage of those crew members while you can. Do we have a favorite loadout yet? Does anybody know their, what yet. they like? No. Not really. I know what I, I like. I always know what I like. But yeah. I'm not going to say anything because that might influence you jabronis into deciding you would like my style too. Right. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I love this game. I also very immediately turn the music off completely and then just listen to podcasts while I'm playing it. I, I do have to say, this is a great game for that. Yeah, soundtrack really good. It it yeah. is very yeah, good. It, but it's a, if you want to really listen good. to something on this, it, it's a pretty perfect game to do it. Yeah, I'm like, I can't pull up my thing because the information doesn't exist anymore on the Xbox app anymore. I don't think. But I'm pretty sure I've put like 100 hours into this game, and it's like, I don't need to listen to the same music for 100 hours yeah. back to back to back. Yeah, to back to back yeah to back there's to a ton of tracks, but not there's not like 4,000 tracks. <laughs> yes, and yeah. it doesn't exactly have Spotify integration, and even if it did, yeah. I'll just listen to the podcast. Thank you very much. There you go. Yeah. Uh, all right, any uh, final thoughts here for uh, week one of Descenders? It's really good. Yep, it's going to be fun, yeah. Yeah, highly recommended. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you next run. Bye. 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 Uh...